Hello everyone, Denas here with Action VFX. Today I'm going to show you how to share your After Effects project files using the Collect Files feature. We will first learn about how to optimize your project from unnecessary files and then archive those files into one folder so they can be easily shared to other artists and opened on other machines. You can check out our article that we have made about this in the description below, but in this video I'll be demonstrating step by step of this process. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I will be using this time freeze project as a demonstration. You can check out the quick tip video for this effects on the description below. So here, say I have finished with my VFX and I just want to pass this to other artists so they can do additional work on it and do some adjustments. And of course, because we will have this project opened by someone else, we want this project panel to be clean and not confusing to see. So here I have all my assets and elements organized and grouped. We have a folder for my composition, my backplate footage, and my VFX elements from our Action VFX collection. Okay, so I have all my items here organized inside their own perspective folders. Now what I want is to optimize this project by deleting files that are not used in my final shot. Because back when I was working on my VFX, I imported a lot of footage and created a bunch of compositions that ended up not being used. So I want to get rid of those unused files. That way we can keep our project file size small and we know that we are only archiving and sending project files that we absolutely need. So what I want is to select the very final composition of my shot. So this composition is what I will use as the render. And then we are going to go to file dependencies, and here we have remove unused and reduce projects. Remove unused, as the name suggests, will delete any assets in the project panel that are not used in any of the composition. But that will still leave a bunch of footage that I use in a composition that are not connected to the final VFX shot. So we want to streamline it even more to only leave footage and compositions that are absolutely crucial to the final shot. So we will use reduce project. So basically what reduce project does is it will remove any items that are not connected or used in the composition that we have selected. So let's click and now we have this window saying we have 10 items that are not used in our final comp and they have been deleted. And also compositions that are connected to the selected comp via expression do not count. So they have been perished also. So keep that in mind. Now let's hit OK. And we have our project panels more cleaned up and streamlined because now we only have things that matter to the final shot. Now we want to share this project to someone else on another machine. But that means we need to make sure to also send over our footage files so we don't have any missing file error when opening our project in other machines. However, currently our footage files are spread around in different locations in our drive. So we may have to go and copy paste them to a new location one by one, which is a lot of work. But thankfully, we have After Effects Collect Files tool that will automatically search for the files that we used in this project and then collect them into one folder. So let's go to Dependencies again, and we are going to go to Collect Files and then Save. And now here we have our Collect File window. And on the top, we have a drop-down menu with a lot of options. So first we have all, which means we will collect and archive all footage that are inside this project. So only pick this if you have done cleaning up your project from unused items, which what we did earlier. So this is what we will pick. And then we have for all comps, which means we are only collecting things that are used in any of the compositions in the scene. And then we have four selected comps, which is we are only collecting assets that are connected to composition that we select. And then we have cute com, which means we are only collecting assets and footage from comps that are inside the render queue. And lastly, we have none, which means we are not collecting any of the footage at all, only the save project file. So let's select all. We are going to let these check boxes as they were, and then at the bottom, we can attach comment to the collected project files that we will create. And then we are going to collect and then name our folder and hit save. 
So now After Effects is collecting and archiving all of our files into one folder directory that we can later share. Okay, so we are done. Here you can see we have our folder with our save file. And if we open the save file, you will see that it is identical to the one we had. And this is our report, basically just displaying what items are collected and then what effects that we use and all those stuff. And then we also have our comments at the bottom there. And then here, all of our footage are now gathered in one place. And as you can see, the folder structure here mirrors the ones that we set up earlier. Keep in mind that these footage are duplicate, so we are not moving these files from their original folders. Those files are still there. This is just a duplicate. So now then we can compress this folder and then share it or store it in a backup hard drive as an archive. And that was it for how to easily share project files in After Effects. Before you start archiving your project, you need assets and you can get those at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library, and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time. Bye bye.